Born Clearo Wilson Jr. Flip Wilson was a popular comedian who became the first black entertainer to be the host of a successful weekly variety show on network television. He was best known for his betrayals of outrageous, over-the-top characters such as Reverend Leroy of the Church of What's Happening Now and Geraldine, the sassy, loud black woman who was every negative stereotype that you can possibly imagine and unfortunately was also seen and enjoyed by millions of Americans. What delighted the masses left a bad taste in the mouths of many black men and women who saw Flip Wilson as someone who mocked blackness in exchange for laughs and money. If that is the way that you see him, what you hear about how quickly he chose his second wife in this video might not surprise you. Let's get into it. But first, if you like these videos about your favorite and most scandalous celebrities from yesteryear that make the Ty Said What Ty Said channel a time capsule for the culture, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can know every time that I upload one of these videos or every time that I live stream and comment I subscribe in the comment section so that I can say hello to you. Now, on to why you are here. In a February 1980 issue of Jet Magazine, here is the cringeworthy way that they wrote about Flip Wilson's cringeworthy relationship. The title alone sets the whole weird tone. The title is Flip Wilson Marries Secretly to Oriental Eek. The story reads, quote, just one smile from a stunning Oriental casino hostess was all it took to launch Flip Wilson on a whirlwind courtship that ended with a secret marriage ceremony in an exotic Japanese garden in Las Vegas. The story behind Wilson's red-hot pursuit of Tuankai Cookie Davis was revealed in the National Enquirer newspaper. The wedding last December was so secret that even the minister didn't know whom he was marrying until an hour before the event. Wilson was so moved by the simple exchange of vows that he broke down and wept during the ceremony, the Enquirer reports. Wilson, 46, presented his bride, a 30-year-old divorcee and mother of four who was born in Thailand and adopted by Americans, a wedding ring he had custom made from a huge sparkling white diamond. The newspaper quotes the new Mrs. Wilson's adoptive parents, Mr. and Mrs. Bill Davis of Carson City, Nevada, who said Wilson was stopped by their daughter's smile when he breezed into a Reno, Nevada casino. He smiled at her and she smiled right back, but of course, she smiles at everybody, Davis said. Two days later, Wilson proposed to her in the lobby of the Sahara Hotel, where she had promised to meet him. He wrote his proposal on a gambling ticket but she was unimpressed. But he persisted and eventually wore down her defenses. She returned to her homeland to consult her real mother. Her family had sent her to the U.S. to find a better life and asked what she should do. Her mother replied, if you love him, marry him. Friends say Wilson, father of four also, and his bride adore each other's children. End quote. I'll only point out the things that seem very odd to me before I move on to tell you how this woman got fed up with him and then their marriage ended. So, Flip Wilson was so overcome that he broke down crying during their ceremony over a woman who he knew for two days before he proposed to her? Okay. Flip had no problem with her being a baby mama to four children? Men typically shy away from that kind of thing, but okay. Flip was captivated by her smile, even though her parents said that she smiles at everyone. I would imagine that as a casino hostess, she would have smiled at everyone. That was probably one of her very few job requirements, but it's cute that Flip took her attention personally. Okay. She didn't want him, but he tore down her defenses. She broke down and agreed to marry him after consulting with her real parents in Thailand who sent her to the USA to get a better life, aka marry a rich sucker and Flip Wilson volunteered to be said sucker. By the way, I'm not sure on the pronunciation of her name, but she was very often called by her nickname, Cookie, so that is what I will call her for the duration of this video. Anyway, 
Here's when that smile wore off of Cookie's face. One of Flip Wilson's hobbies was racing balloons. Rocky Aoki introduced Flip Wilson to this pastime. In case that name doesn't ring a bell for you, Rocky was an amateur wrestler, but his claim to fame was being the founder of Japanese restaurant chain Benihana. Flip had so much fun racing Rocky's balloons that he eventually bought one of his own that he labeled H N I C. If you don't know what that stands for, ask someone in the comment section. Cookie took up her husband's hobby, and on one horrible day, she ended up crash landing near the Missouri-Oklahoma border. Her own words about that incident are recorded in Kevin Cook's book called Flip, the inside story of TV's first black superstar. She said, quote, we came down fast. I heard the pilot say, oh shit, we are going to die. We crash landed, bounced up, crashed down again. I broke my left leg. My right knee was crushed, end quote. During her month-long convalescence in an Omaha hospital, Flip Wilson visited her only one time. She said, quote, he didn't really know how to be a husband, end quote. The thought was that he was too busy to see his wife because he was sleeping with other women while she was in the hospital. Cookie never expected fidelity from Flip. Their clear agreement from the start was that Cookie wouldn't complain about his girlfriends as long as he kept them out of their home. So his cheating was no surprise. What did surprise her was her famous husband's constant need for praise. She said, quote, he was so needy he couldn't stand it if I said something nice about somebody else. It had to be only for him, end quote. Cookie said that kind words for Bill Cosby, Rocky Aoki, or even his own children annoyed him. Flip beamed the day that Cookie ironically asked, How's the world's greatest husband? And that really was an ironic question, if you believe what Cookie says about him. She said that he often slept past noon, and that was on the days that he didn't spend all day playing golf, or holed up in his giant bathroom with his safe full of drugs, phoning downstairs when he wanted something to eat. By the fall of 1984, he and Cookie were living in separate wings of the beach house. They finally parted the following year. Flip, who liked to joke about everything, also liked to joke about the generous terms of their divorce. He would say, I gave a fortune to my cookie. But to his credit, I guess you could say, the truth was that he really didn't give up a lot of his wealth to Cookie. In fact, the settlement was just a sliver of his still growing fortune. 30 months of spousal support that added up to $369,000. That's roughly $936,000 in today's money, but it was just a drop in the bucket for Flip. Once again, this is another story, at least the beginning of it, that was taken from the pages of Jet Magazine's Mr. and Mrs. section. To see another story that came from there, check out my video about when Felicia Rashad and Debbie Allen's mother shot at their father. You can see that video here. My sources for this video are Flip, The Inside Story of TV's First Black Superstar by Kevin Cook, and Jet Magazine. If you want text notifications so that you can get a text 15 minutes before I release a video or 15 minutes before I live stream, simply send a text to 786-632-2135 to let me know that you want text and you will get an outgoing text message 15 minutes before I have a new video release. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Ty Said What Ty Said channel. Please leave a thumbs up and comment so that we can get a discussion going. And share this video on all of your social media, especially your Facebook, that really helps me out a lot. And subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can know when my next video is ready for you. And if you don't like what I'm saying, but you love it, feel free to hit that applaud button just below your video screen there and send me some donations, donations, donations. Yeah, baby. See you on the next video.